Hey, this week's video, we are back to working on our massive dry stack stone wall. This is part three. So we want to start this video out with a little, uh, I don't know, notification or something. So the first 100, 150 subscribers on our channel are actually people that we know personally, friends and family. And several of them have told us that they have been unsubscribed to our channel. And they're pretty sure they did not unsubscribe. So I don't know what's going on is YouTube uh, somehow unsubscribing people or what's happening or are people just accidentally uh, clicking on that subscribe button again and unsubscribing themselves I have no idea but if you're subscribed to our channel or if you think you are go ahead and check it out and make sure you're still subscribed because our subscriber count did fluctuate a little bit there for in the last month and we've had people telling us this so I don't know what's going on so if you want to be subscribed to our channel or if you think you are just check your subscription make sure you are still subscribed it's completely free and if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe that way you'll never miss an episode So we've got this rock that's really big and it tips our skid loader when we try to move it. Uh, we can move it, but it's, it's very tippy. So anyway, it's so thick. We haven't measured it, but I would guess it's, it's almost five feet this way and probably four feet that way total. You know, it, it has some shape here. I'm, I'm talking the outermost points. As far as thickness, this has got to be around a foot and a half, something like that. Well, we're thinking we're going to drill holes all the way around and see if we can split it. This way we're hoping to get two big slabs out of this rock and we can just lean that up on our hill. We're just making a steep bank instead of making another wall. So we're gonna use this in that area as well. So a couple of my friends have been watching these videos and they have heard that you can't put gravel inside of a dry stack stone wall. When you hear of somebody telling you not to put gravel in a stone wall, what they're talking about is stuff like this. Small, round gravel and the reason that they say that if you're setting your rock is the problem they're round they tend to not lock together they're round so when they push against each other or a big rock pushes on them they tend to move and push off but stuff like this angular stuff that stuff will lock together and it's not going to move this is okay now some people would not call this gravel and some people would some people would call the round stuff gravel it just depends on where they're from. Having said that, I will say that the spaces that are left over, once your rock is set, you can fill with this rounded stuff for drainage. You want good drainage under your rock. You don't want it to be, uh, you don't want things getting in it, uh, rats, mice, snakes, chipmunks, whatever. You don't want things getting inside your wall, making nests, making it weak, uh, stuff like that. For example, here's a space that hasn't been filled yet and the rocks are good and solid. They're not moving anywhere. We would take stuff like this and stick it in there and fill that up in order to provide drainage and to keep uh, things from getting in there, animals and whatever. So I need to lay a rock right here and this is how I do it. You bring in the rock that you want and this one's a little small, but as we're going up, we want smaller rocks I get it to fit as well as I can. It fits pretty well there, but it does rock a little bit. So I need some small angular pieces like this. And I'm gonna use those behind my rock. Something a little better to set them with is something that's a little larger like this. Large and flat, get the rock to stay in place. And now the rock is good and solid. I'm gonna get more of those and I'm gonna stuff them in around there, trying not to raise the rock when I do that. 
And once they're stuffed in there and this rock is good and solid, now it's not going anywhere. But the thing about no gravel in the wall is just using rounded stuff to set your stone. You don't want to do that. But filling holes later, filling spaces, you can use rounded stuff for that. That's perfectly fine. It fills the hole, keeps things out, and provides drainage. Improper drainage is the thing that will destroy a retaining wall. You want the dirt, then gravel, then the retaining wall out in front. And below all that gravel is a pipe, a perforated pipe, that water can seep into and drain away from behind the wall. But I'm not uh, advising anybody on that in this video. Having said that, I do feel very much like uh, people long ago knew more of how to do these sorts of things and it was information that was passed down and passed on much more readily and more people seem to know how to build structures and build their own homes and buildings and whatever. I would like to see people have access to that kind of knowledge and be able to do these things for themselves. Whenever you build your own stuff there is a sense of accomplishment that you get from it and there's a knowing how it was put together and knowing how to fix it. Then there's also a responsibility side, knowing that, hey, I made that, and if it breaks or whatever, or if it's screwed up, you know, that's my own fault. Uh, but at the same time, I know how to fix it because I know how it went together in the first place. So just to bring you up to speed a little bit on where we're at with the dry stack stone wall project. This level that you see right here behind me, this level of ground is where the skid loader was, where we were digging this out for this wall in part two. Since then, we've dug down a bit more because we've decided to do a driveway expansion as well. And so we've dug that down and we got these rocks that we set in here. And these rocks are just leaning on a very steep bank right here. But the dry stack wall back there is actually uh, three feet thick. And that's a, that's a true dry stack wall. This right here is just big rocks leaning on a very steep bank. And we have a nice path right here in between, kind of making a step. So you, you have the dry stack wall, this nice step, and then down. And that huge rock that we were drilling holes in at the beginning of the video trying to split, well, that's right here. <laughs> and as you can see, it is quite a rock. So we weren't able to actually split this thing. We were taking a long drill bit, a masonry drill bit. Anyway, we ruined it. <laughs> we were going to go all the way around the perimeter and drill holes and then hopefully uh, split it into two large slabs. But that didn't work out and we ruined the drill bit, and so, yeah. So here's the rock in one big piece, not split. <laughs> so we've got a little bit of footage of us putting the gravel down as well for the parking lot expansion. So we'll be putting that in here as well. So let's see how long the wall is. We have both ends, and we've never actually measured how long the total length would be. We've guessed it's gonna be somewhere around 50 feet. All right, stretching out the 100 foot tape measure. That's 65 feet right there. And it comes a little past maybe uh, 65 and five inches. So the true size of the wall is 65 feet long, 65 foot and five inches. It's three feet thick. I think there is a place where we went down to 30 inches and that was just because we had to in that place. As far as the height goes, it's about six foot six in this area. And as we go down, it's gonna go up to seven feet and maybe even a little bit more. This is our dry stack wall so far. Really big stuff at the beginning. Then we get into this. And this whole section here is done. Right here in the middle is where we need to finish. This is where our old railroad tie wall is. And we're just putting three feet of wall up against so we need to take this up another three to four feet and of course finish the middle back there.
camera isn't too shaky for this. As far as how to spread the gravel, basically you get the bucket just up as high as you need to see. You just tip it just a tiny bit. You always go back up if you want to stop. Just drive and give it a little shake on the handle. Give it a lever. Well, this has been a huge project and it's still not done and we wanted to complete it before releasing uh, part three, but we're not gonna get it done in part three. <laughs> There's gonna have to be a part four or something. So it's definitely not done, but it's definitely a whole lot further than it's ever been before. So it's a lot closer to done, but yeah, still not there. So there will be a part four eventually. We'll see how it goes. So we're not working on it all the time. We're doing a lot of other things too. This is like an evening project and stuff like that. Here and there, fill in. There's no hurry. Still have a lot of big rocks in a rock pile here. So renting that skid loader is expensive. And what we needed to do was dig up as many rocks as we can and get them in a nice good sized pile. And then other than that, we wanted to do the driveway expansion. So we had to put the work on the wall on hold, just get all the rocks we can then do the driveway expansion, finish that up, and then they took the skid loader back because I don't want to rent it again. Now we're back on the wall and the outdoor kitchen. We're kind of 
dividing our time between those two as we have free time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, please share it with your friends and hit that like button if you haven't done so already. And while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We put out new videos every week, every Friday morning. And if you'd like to receive notifications when we do upload the next video, hit that notification bell. And check out our channel. We have several videos just like this one or very similar. We do various things including hiking, biking, boating, fishing, builds of various kinds, mostly outdoor activities. Some homesteading is thrown in there as well. This channel is for the experience. We do these things for the experience of doing them and to show others how you can do it too. We try to be fun and entertaining while being educational all at the same time. Sometimes these experiences are done for the first time and other times there are things that we do all the time. Sometimes we do things just for the fun of doing it. Thank you. We'll see you on the next one.